guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today is day two of Mary living alone. Well, it's Wednesday today, so obviously I moved in on Monday. So that doesn't class as my first day because oh, my dad was here. Then yesterday I didn't really do much, just chilled, watched films. And then today is day two. So my normal life resumed today. I got up, went to the gym. I've done some content this afternoon. And now it's actually quite late in the day. What time is it? It's actually quarter to five. But I thought I would film the rest of this week. Just like bring you along. I've got some really exciting events. I've got some really exciting deliveries coming for the house. I've actually kept a delivery. I've had it since this morning and I've not opened it purposely. I've had two. Two exciting ones and I've kept them purposely to open on YouTube. I was back in the gym with Sophie this morning. I've had a few days off with the move and then today I was back in and oh, guys it killed me it killed me I'm tired but I've got a look fantastic event tonight that I'm going to in Manchester which is great because I'm in the city centre as well I'm probably like five minutes away I mean how great is that I'm never going to get over living in the city centre it's actually I know I'm only on day two but I think it's the best decision I ever made in my entire life was getting this apartment all the 22 years I have been on this earth this was my best decision, hands down. I went to the gym this morning. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of a sore throat, to be honest. Oh God, the hobby's at it again. Um, yeah, so I went to the gym this morning with Sophie and then I went to Ari's to get all my stuff. I didn't manage to get all of my stuff, but I got a lot of my clothes and brought them back here. But my second bedroom in the apartment, I'm changing into a dressing room. But I don't have the wardrobes yet, like for the room. So my stuff is just in bags and boxes on the floor, which is just a mess. Which is why I've not shown you guys that room because there's really no no point in me showing you. There's a bed in there at the minute that's going. There's a t my TV cabinet from in the lounge. That's just like kind of my shit room where everything's just going that I don't want to see. So I've got clothes here finally because I had to go to the gym this morning in normal trainers because I didn't have any gym trainers. Which was not great. And then Ari sent me these. Look how cute they are. Flowers are literally my favourite thing in the world to get. But I'm having to put them in my sink right now. Because I just had to knit out to get an extension lead. Because I, my light didn't reach. It's a long story. But basically I didn't have a vase when the flowers came. So I've just knit out and got this. I'm really near a home bargains. Well, I'm not really near. It was an Uber away. But I actually went to a supermarket. And then there was a home bargains opposite. So I was like, oh, they will have a vase. Because I tried to get a vase in the supermarket. There wasn't one. So I got this little vase. It was like £2. <sighs> Crazy. So I'm going to put the flowers in this. But I don't really know what you have to do. Hmm. The bag is the water but I definitely don't have meant to keep them in this because they won't stand up so I definitely need to put them in the bars but how I do that I'm not too sure I'm guessing because if I open this the whole bag tonight it's a lot of water unless I pop it drain it in the sink and get the flowers out oh how could I get pricked right Jesus wept. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Ariana. I sent Ari a picture of my flowers. I was like, thank you so much. And she was like, Mary, there was meant to be extra large. She was like, they've got nine flowers, but they're not, I, I admit they're not the biggest. She was like, I think I got catfished, <laughs> but they're still really cute. Back to business. One of my deliveries came, this actually came to Ariana's last week. Last week, last week, but I've not been back since, so I haven't actually opened it just yet. I've been waiting. Well, I reopened the box, but I haven't actually opened it. So I've got a Jonathan Adler candle. I was so excited, and I've actually ordered like a canister to, to the, it comes tomorrow, and I'm gonna put it there with my coffee in. So that's another exciting thing we're really gonna see. Oh. This is how it comes in the box. This is the lid. How nice is that? Oh, 
I just love it. So obviously in here I'm doing pink and red. And I feel like at the minute my pink is definitely overtaking my red. So I need to get some more red bits in here. But I've actually ordered a sideboard today, a dining table. There's so much stuff that's going to be coming and I can't wait. I have to show you how cute this looks. How cute. My next parcel is a big one. It's my new rug. So my grandma and granddad actually bought me this rug. Um, and my grandma and granddad watch it so I want to say hi, I love and miss you guys so much and thank you so much for my rug. I feel like this is actually the start of my lounge. Like, this is exciting guys. I'm going to hide the other rug in the spare room for now, but obviously that will be going in storage. This rug is from Next and I actually seen it the other day in Manchester when I was with Ariana, like a week ago. And I was like, I really, really want this rug, but they didn't have my size in. And I was like, do you order a rug now? Or should I just like order a rug like later on when the sofa comes? But then my grandma and was like, no, like getting a rug will make it feel more like it's your place. Like little things can just make it feel more like it's yours, even while she waits for the furniture. So I ordered it and it came today and it's like, oh, it's like a cream. For, but if I, if you could feel through the camera, that would be amazing because it, I can't even describe to you like it's not like a shaggy rug. It's just like a oh, it's so soft. It's beautiful. And I ordered the biggest one that they did. I think it was called the the cushy rug or something. Oh my god, guys, this is so exciting. My floors in the lounge are, well, the whole apartment within the bedrooms are wood. So I was like, I really want like a big, nice rug where my sofa's gonna be. So that feels like a lounge of carpet. So I'm gonna put it down there and see how it looks. Oh my God, guys. I really, really, really need you to all feel this through the camera. It's just like a cloud. My only dilemma is, obviously, my sofa's not here and my coffee table. So, do I put the, the rug down? Because my coffee table is going to be a different shape to the coffee table that is currently here. And I don't want it to mark the rug. Look how nice it matches my cushion. I'm going to go to the traffic centre tomorrow and try and get two more of these. Because I need to... Um, or maybe Friday, because I'm actually busy tomorrow. I've got a shoot tomorrow for something exciting. But, yeah, I need to get two more of these. So I'm going to go to the traffic centre and try and get them. But look how nice it matches the rug. Um, then obviously when I've got a cream sofa. I think the sofa samples come tomorrow. And then I can choose what colour exactly. I'm going to choose it like to match the rug and the cushion. And then I can send that off. And then hopefully I should have the sofa by Christmas. Fingers and toes crossed. This is actually something I didn't show you the other day, guys, because I really didn't think any of you would care. Um, but now I've got it out, I'm going to show you anyway. So I actually got this vacuum. It's the one that Mitch has, and he said that out of all the vacuums he's had, this was the best one it never broke. So it is the G-Tech Air Ram, it says. Um, and it's my first time using it, so... Whilst I have the vacuum out, I've also just remembered I need to vacuum my ensuite because I've just filmed a reel in there for Instagram and I dried my hair in there so I know my hair is going to be all over the floor. But actually guys, I'm going to show you some really cool, I'm going to take the vacuum, um, bits from Cloud9 that I just filmed a reel with. You actually can't really see my hair right now because I've been jumping around on rugs like a crazy person. But if I stand on here, I've just found a little tutorial on how I get my hair when I do it straight like this with the flicky under bits. Basically just every time I have my hair straight, I um, have this and it's been really asked on Insta to do it. So I've just found a little reel with these, but I've just used my Cloud9. I'm not going to go into it because there is going to be a reel on my Instagram. I used the original iron just because when I do that, the flicks under the bottom like this, it's better to have like a thinnish iron. And I used the Airshot hair dryer. These two things in my reel on Insta, if you want more details, go to there. But I do know that they've got some 
crazy sales on for Black Friday this week. So Christmas presents for your friends, for yourselves, for your mom. I'm gonna get my mom some stuff like this. Boys for your girlfriends. Cloud9 this week actually have some great deals on and I do know that for facts. So yeah, just thought I'd share that information with you. I actually did my hair for tonight to go out with. I think I'm gonna do like pin straight, double tucked, and obviously the curly ends. I have actually ordered an outfit and I haven't tried it on yet. And if it doesn't look nice, I'm screwed because it's in a, it's in a few hours and I'm definitely not going shopping now. So yeah. It's just like a nude, I didn't actually know it was croc print. Um, Like a bandeau, is that what the word is? Like long midi dress. I actually ordered a size six in this because I always think misguided is quite big fitting, but that could come back to haunt me yet if I don't get in it. And then I actually had to call my mum last night and I thought I have some shoes back in these that I thought would look really good with this dress. So my mum had to put them in an Uber. I had to book an Uber because you can do the thing now where it takes packages put them in the Uber for me to get them last night and then the motorway from Leeds to Manchester was shut so it took two hours. So literally last night I was awake at 12 o'clock like my eyes were shutting waiting for this Uber driver to come in my heels. Bless the man. I mean he had to drive all the way from Leeds to Manchester. I probably thought it was going to take 40 minutes. It took two hours. I was like oh. Um, but yeah hopefully they match. I'm going to go see them. This is literally the first time I'm opening the shoes and putting them with the dress on camera and <laughs> when I tell you perfect match is that a perfect match or is that a perfect match? I never wear these heels. I literally wear them probably like once every three years. They're so uncomfortable. But when I ordered that dress last night, I was like, ooh, that would look nice. And then I don't know if to do this Prada bag because it's a little bit off the nude colour. But then I could either do this one or a little cream bag. I hope it fits. If it fits, this is actually too good to be true. I don't think I like the bag with it gonna have to be a little white one I think. It's a lot later in the night, Sophie has come around um, and she's trying on outfits because we're going to a charity ball on Help. Saturday <laughs> and now I am just about to fake tan. Um, seems like I am so pale, I'm gonna use the instant tan. So I actually use this again, it's not sponsored, it's just what I use when I go out. The Tanologist Insta Glow, this is the best instant tan there is. It like kind of airbrushes you as well as gives you a tan at the same time. And my god, I need a tan because I am white. I'm probably not going to take it to the event, guys, seeing as though I'm going to take a little Jacquemus bag and it's not going to fit. Oh, it's not going to fit in my bag, the camera, and I don't want to carry it around all night. But I'll show you my outfit when I'm ready. This is the outfit I've ended up wearing. I literally just tried it on and I was like, please, 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 God, say that it's going to fit. And it did. I'm going to go downstairs, take a picture quickly with Sophie, and then head to the event. I'm not gonna lie to you either. Um, funny story, dry November went completely out the window. It's, you know what, it's my first week in my apartment. Everyone's turning up, everyone's wanting to drink with me. It would be rude to say not to. It even matches my outfit. <laughs> Coordinate everything these days to the wine. I need to go because I'm gonna be late. Last look at the outfit. Dress is misguided, shoes are just some Louboutins that I've had for years now, and then bag, I'm gonna take the little white check and So it is the next morning now. I'm actually feeling quite ill today, which is not great. I've woken up with the sorest throat. It's more like my chest, not like my throat. It's like, when I breathe like this, it's hard, but I've had a lemsy. I've had some ibuprofen, so hopefully I'm going to be feeling better in a little bit. I've got a really, really exciting shoot today. Um, this has been a few weeks in the making, this shoot. It was meant to happen like two weeks ago, then a few more things kept happening, things were getting changed. So today's finally the day. I actually need to find out if I can tell you what it's for yet. So maybe I might have to keep a hush-hush on what we're actually shooting. Um, but that's really exciting guys. That will be super super exciting to tell you all But I'll still bring you along to the shoe and obviously we'll show you hair and makeup Holly's coming here to pick me up In about an hour um, And then we're gonna go straight to the shoe from there. She's not, not seen the apartment yet So I was like, why don't you come in for a coffee? 
I was going to nip to the shop this morning to get a few more bits for the apartment. I really want to go to a white company and I think I'm not that far in an Uber from it. But I, then I'm thinking, do I really need to nip to the white company right now? Like I could just do that tomorrow. I just want some diffusers for my bathroom. I want to buy some more of them pillows. Pillows? Cushions. I might nip now to the white company because what else am I doing really? Other than same feeling sorry for myself that I've got a sofa on. I might as well get up, get out, get busy, attack the day as I need to go on. So guys, I'm on the shoot. I actually can't tell you yet what it is for as it's not gonna be released by the time this YouTube video goes out. But how good is my hair and my glam? I think this is 100% my favorite glam that Holly's ever done. Can't wait for you to see this. It's gonna actually look mega. I'm so excited and I'm actually ready. So I'm gonna film the shoe but I'm not going to upload it until it actually comes out. I'll put that in a vlog later on but it's a good one. I will catch up with you when I'm not in a dressing gown hiding my outfit and guys I'm in a hotel lobby right now and I'm actually filming in front of so many people so I hope that everyone's proud. Oh, oh my god look at my hair. Look at my hair. It is actually really late now what time is it actually it's not really late i've just lied to you there oh my god it's 10 o'clock so it is 10 o'clock now i got back in from the shoe about an hour ago it was such a good shoe guys i'm so excited for you to see i'm literally i'm not saying anymore the nail guys i had to bite it off it lasted the shoe but i got home i had to get it off and then whilst i was at it i actually bit two more nails off Jolly, I'm so sorry. I never ever lose nails either, ever. Um, but I just feel like these have to come off. So tomorrow I'm gonna go get them taken off, have some shellac put on, and then obviously when Jolly's back in Manchester next week, get a new long set. I feel like I need to have dinner. I might have a little meal prep. And then I'm gonna get a bath in my ugh, bath. I've not had one yet, it's gonna be my first bath. I feel like I just need to really just relax, have a lem sip, have some food, have a bath and, you know, get into what, well, it's not really an early night anymore, is it? It's already 10 o'clock, but if I'm asleep before like half past 11 and then I have a full night's sleep. This morning I got deliveries, so that's what I was going to show you, how exciting. I actually have already opened them because I hope I opened them with Holly. So my first one, this actually I thought I could have as a tea and coffee. I was going to get one for tea, one for coffee for my sideboard. Um, it's this Jonathan Adler like canister. But when it has come... It's obviously not the right size for tea and coffee as it is absolutely huge. I'm gonna keep this one oh, because I bought it now. So it's here and I really like it. But maybe I'm gonna put biscuits in it or sweets. Holly said sweets because then they won't go off, but biscuits apparently go off. But imagine some little custard creams in this. I just got two more of the cushions and now I feel like my sofa is just like a big fluffiness. Like, Honestly, these are just so cozy, especially when I just came from the shoe. Oh my God. Right. And then I just got some more um, of the Spa Escape. I got another diffuser and another spray, but for my bathroom, so my ensuite, in the guest bathroom, every time someone has walked into the house, well, the apartment, they have said, oh my God, why does it smell so nice in here? And it literally smells amazing. So I thought I need one of them for my own bathroom. And the lady in White Company said that it's a summer scent, so it might be getting discontinued, so I'm gonna stock up. I'm gonna buy quite a lot of diffusers, and then I can have them in my cupboard in case it goes out of stock, because I'm just not ready to part with, ways with this smell yet, just yet, like. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I bought something else. They just bought these little candles. I completely forgot, and just reminded myself then when I was thinking about it from the white company and they're just like little tiny love heart candles and they're in the smell Seychelles so this is what my mum always has at home it smells so good it is bergamot amber and vanilla and oh it's so nice I love anything with like amber and vanilla in just had to show you this setup like oh my god 
a Christmas film, the little candles. It's now the next day. I am actually feeling 125 million percent better um, this morning. My throat is actually not hurting. I know I sound a bit croggy, croggy, groggy, groggy, but I'm feeling so much better. Like I actually feel so, maybe it was the bath. I feel like maybe the bath I've like steamed some stuff out of me. It's quite early this morning. I have just got up. I'm going to a PT, I'm going to the gym this morning with Sophie, then I've got to go have my hair cut, then I'm getting a really exciting facial that I'm going to bring you along for, then I need to get my nails sorted out because this is just not cute. So we've done the gym and now Sophie has just brought me for a Starbucks before I have to go get my hair done. We've literally, I've done <coughs> the gym and then now we're getting gingerbread. Was it gingerbread lattes? No. Um, yeah, it was gingerbread lattes with soy milk. With soy milk and vegan cream. You got vegan cream. I don't. Re I don't really like unpopular opinion. I know, but I don't like whipped cream. And it's actually because when I was younger, when I was younger, I used to be really chubby, like really, really chubby. This is when I was quite young. And basically, I used to get the cream, the whipped cream, out of the fridge and like squirt it in my mouth. <laughs> all the time I did, I did swear to god <laughs> i used to do it all the time i always just shower me so anyway i used to do squirt the cream in my mouth and I, it made me sick one time because i was obviously like so greedy and now i cannot stand whipped cream i cannot have it on anything like no desserts no drinks no i hate whipped cream so yeah um we're just getting a little starbucks then i'm gonna go have my hair cut guys so i'm gonna have it actually cut shorter today did i tell you that what when my hair cut short today yeah i think that's a yeah. good idea yeah same i'm gonna go a Short little bit shorter for winter, for winter yeah it's a vibe. um so i'm gonna cut that off the only thing is my hair's still wavy from the shoot yesterday so i don't know how hard it's gonna do it and i've only actually got like 15 minutes until i need to go from the hair salon so maybe i'm just gonna say wet my hair cut it and then just leave it and I'll go with wet hair. So we're at the look by Louise now. I'm so excited for this facial. So it's called Morpheus, what I'm getting done. And it's like, it's gonna get rid of some of these scars I've got here, um, just from like spots I've had in the past. And it's gonna like, it tightens, lifts, and then just really just helps the texture of your skin with your pores and everything. So I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting this done for so long. I've been asking Louise for so long, but it's just trying to fit in with Louise is impossible because she's so busy all the time. I'm just gonna have some numbing cream put on now so it doesn't hurt as much and hopefully the results are gonna be amazing. I've heard the best things about Morpheus. Little headband on. I'm looking a bit like a crazy person, but we're gonna numb my face now so that I'm not gonna feel the needling. But you can see here, like, I've got makeup on at the minute, but these scars here, hopefully, are gonna go. As you can see, I'm just a little bit red. Um, obviously, that is just from the needling. I'm not in pain now, like it's complete. The pain is just when like the needle goes in, but it's not actually like I'm a wimp, and that wasn't bad. I was gonna go and get my nails done, but I don't think I'm gonna go get my nails done with my face red. I think I'm just gonna go home to the apartment and chill. Back is the evening. I feel like I've literally not stopped all day today. Um, I've just been here, there, and everywhere, and it takes so long to get Ubers, like. Oh, it's been a nightmare today. As you can see, my skin has now gone back to complete normal. There's no pain, nothing. I'm just gonna obviously not put makeup on for tonight and then tomorrow I just go back on as normal. So let's see the results from that in like four weeks time. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm gonna have three rounds of it done. You've got them done four weeks apart. I've had my hair cut. You can't actually see it right now because it is up, but obviously I will show you it when it's washed tomorrow. And I tried to get my nails fixed, but everywhere was full. So I'm gonna have to get up in the morning and go to have my nails fixed. Because obviously I can't go to the tribal looking like this. My friend is on her way. She's from Leeds. My friend from Leeds is coming over for the night. So 
we're gonna have some takeaway some wine i've stopped upon the bottles of wine because obviously dry dry november has gone out the absolute window now it is a sunk ship so i'm not even going to mention it one more time you're not going to hear me say them words you know i failed i admit it moving on okay had a really cute delivery today whilst i've been out this mirror is so nice it's from lena mirrors on instagram and i'm gonna put it on the wall there obviously when my dad and my brother come because i am no handyman and i actually got these shoes i was going to show you all for the ball tomorrow but they're actually too small i'm gonna try and still get the shoes tomorrow i'm gonna look now for places that have got them in stock in a bigger size that i'll do next day delivery but it's 5 37 so and i am gonna be struggling to do that which is so annoying like they i could wear them the wearable but they are too small and i feel like for the amount of money them heels were i'm not wearing them when they're too small and they are too small i just need half a size up i ordered a five and a half and i'm normally a size five but there just must be a small ship fitting shoe so i'm gonna have to try find a size six somewhere and i really hope they come because if not my outfit is just gonna be a bit dead like i feel like the outfit is gonna look really good with the heels i took my dresses to stitches today as well because i didn't really like the neck on it it was like a built-in choker and it just really I just want feeling it. I'm really, really excited for tomorrow. I just need to get my nails fixed because obviously I can't be going to a charity ball looking like this. And then I've got my hair at three, makeup at four, the balls at half past seven. And then I'm supposed to be going out afterwards for Holly's birthday. Mm, I really didn't want to get drunk this weekend, guys. But on Sunday, I'm not having a hangover. Like, I'm not doing it. So I might just go to the ball and then go home, but that's probably never going to happen. I've got 25 minutes until my friend's going to get here. So I'm just going to get a quick shower, put a nice tracksuit on, because I feel like I've been in my gym clothes all day, which is disgusting. But I've literally not been home. Morning, guys. You're back with the shadow on my face. It is actually the afternoon now. It is... <clears throat> 10 to 1 but I had the best sleeping like my friend Pip got up at 8 and left and then I was just like I'm gonna go back to sleep went back to sleep woke up at like half past 11 it was so I needed that sleep like I feel so much better so I've just rung up the nail place and um, it's just like around the corner from me I'm gonna go get these disgraces <laughs> sorted out but my hair is at 3 and my makeup is at 4 and then we're going to the cherry ball tonight so i'm so excited because when else do you get the chance to dress up obviously i've had my hair cut yesterday i woke up this morning and i was like whoa my hair's really short it's actually really short you can see my hair is a lot shorter what do we think obviously i know it doesn't look good right now because i'm still brushing it and it's not dry but i feel like it's going to be so much more manageable for just winter and you know what is so annoying you know when you've got like hoods and coats on and your hair's like all over my hair can kind of just chill here now with a big coat on so yeah it's gonna be so much faster for me to do i probably will have the extensions put back in longer in a few weeks but i'm gonna see for the next like three weeks or so how i'm feeling with the short hair i have my nails done i've just come into the apartment and it is freezing i literally never turn the heating off i always have it on just like 22 degrees all the time and sophie and pippa last night was like mary it's so warm in this apartment turn the heating off so i turned it off for the first time and then have forgotten that i've turned it off we we'll have woken up this morning and it's still been warm. Now it's absolutely freezing. So it's only 20 degrees on the thermometer thing. And I normally have it at like 24. So it, it's cold. My nails. I just had these little short ones done. Obviously these are only until I can see Jolly on Thursday. But I couldn't go to a charity ball with three fingernails missing. It just was not acceptable. And Jolly can't. She's not in Manchester until next Thursday. So I had to improvise. Um, this is really weird. Like, I just tried to text on my phone and I can't do it because obviously I always have such long nails and my your brain must register where the end of your nail ends. So I was pressing the wrong buttons every time. So that is really super annoying. Literally, I was trying to text like this, like, like a mum. 
the shoes have re-come, guys. I'm going to open them. They've got to fit because I need to wear them tonight. So these can't be too small. Oh, my God. These can't be too small. How many times do you think I'm going to catch myself doing that with the cutter on YouTube? I think a lot. So my dress for tonight is like a purpley colour. So I thought to contrast. I mean, how beautiful are they? Wow. And then this also came. I ordered this from Treat Studios. Oh, oh, they've sent me all the free gummy bears. Treats, thank you so much. I've got a gold chain, the diamondy chain, what I'm going to wear tonight. Because obviously we have the diamonds on the shoes, the diamonds on here. And then they also sell these little gummy bears. So I actually ordered the pink, but they've sent me the blue and the green also. And this goes on the chain. And look how cool that is. Little blue one. This is a new brand on Instagram. It's called Treat Studios. And the stuff is mega. I need to go now, get my hair done, get my makeup done. So next time you see me, I'm going to be looking a lot better than this. I'm going to be looking a lot more glam. I'm back from hair and makeup. I'm looking very different to what I did last time. Look at my hair. My makeup. I'm actually running really, really late now. Um, so I need to quickly get in the shower, have a little body shower. I need to put an outfit on that I need to take a picture in because my deadline's tomorrow. Um, and then get changed, have my put my real outfit on and go and leave because we are gonna we're running a little bit late, quite a bit late actually. I'll show you when I'm in my outfit and when I'm ready. But this is my hair and makeup. Sophie's looks amazing. She's had hers done too, and it's just gonna be a really good night, guys. I'm really excited. I'm trying to say to Sophie, I don't want to go out afterwards. I don't want to go to the club. Once I've had a drink, we all know I'm going to be going to the club because Ariana's out with Holly and Mitch and everyone tonight for Holly's birthday. Sophie wants to go. And I know full well that once I've had a drink, I'll be like, let's just go. Let's just go. Why not? So I'm going to try with my best of my willpower when I've had a drink to say no, but can't make promises. I really can't. And so I'm ready for the ball. This is my dress in the end. My heels. My dress is from House of CB. I just had the neck removed because I wanted it to be like the diamond, the treats necklace from earlier. Jason did my hair, so I did my makeup. And the nails actually go really well. I feel like really classy. The hair definitely needed to be cut for this outfit as well. I'm gonna go show you. Sophie looks amazing. You look amazing. You really look stunning. Oh, thank Honestly. Funny. This is my outfit, the heels. Sophie's. We're both wearing House of CB tonight. But anyway, we are going to go now because we're really, really, really late. And I don't want to be that late because we're going to miss the food. <laughs> and I'm starving because we went to McDonald's on the way home. And Sophie ordered us food. And then <laughs> I was like, can I have six chicken nuggets and can I have the cheesy bites? So she was like, it's all you're getting. You'll be starving. And I was like, yeah, thinking what? Then I ate the cheesy bites. Then I started eating the chicken nuggets and she was like, did you get chicken nuggets? And I was like, yeah, six chicken nuggets. She was like, they're my chicken nuggets. She'd only ordered one lot. So I had four, three cheesy bites because they gave Sophie one. Two um, chicken nuggets, so I'm actually still starving. And I've, all I've had today, really to eat. I haven't had my meal prep, so I've been rushing all day. I've had like seven custard creams. So that's not great. They're going down minute by minute. Uh, this weekend's the last time we eat, I'm eating shit and then we're on the New Year's Eve diet because we're probably going to go away for New Year. So that's going to be so exciting. Anyway, we need to go because we're really late. Hi guys, so I've just come to edit the end of the vlog and realised I'd never even filmed an ending to this vlog. Yesterday was just, I was so busy. I didn't actually end up going out on Saturday night. I got in the taxi home with Sophie. Sophie was like, come on, come out, come out, come out. And I was like, Sophie, I'm not coming. Like, I want to go to bed. So... I came home, got a McDonald's, came home, everyone else went to the club, so don't know how that happened, but it happened. So yesterday I wasn't hungover, so I just did all my cleaning, my washing, I went to the German markets last night. So that was so nice, but it's now Monday. I'm going to end this vlog here, because um, we're into a new week, and that was the week of me. But I just want to show you something that I got today, which is really exciting. 
I got the matching big one. How nice is that? Obviously, it just like ignore the fact that I've not got a TV stand. That does come tomorrow. But how nice is that? Put my biscuits over here now, and they very they're going down very fast, guys. To so say I live alone, that's worrying. That is not what I need. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, do you want me to do more of these kind? Like spend the week with me. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.